Today on the channel from Legends Series 18, we've got Paulie Dangerously. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Legends Series 18 unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we've got Paulie Dangersley. But for all your wrestling figure needs, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code Kyle, save yourself 10%. But Paulie, you're not going to find at Ringside Collectibles, at least not right now, as he is just starting to hit Target stores. Of course, he is a Target store exclusive as of right now, uh, but starting to hit the stores, hitting all the local areas around me. So you might want to go to your Target if you're looking for him. It doesn't look like pre-orders are shipping yet, so I had to go in and I had to cancel my pre-orders there. But thanks to David C. Anderson, good friend of the channel, he found me, Paulie, and even dropped it off for me. Man, that's service with a smile if I ever saw one. But very excited to get Paulie Dangerously here. Of course, I've been a longtime fan of Paulie. ECW was my bread and butter for many, many years. Of course, his current stuff, he's all over WWE programming. But when I was a little kid and I first started watching the NWA and WCW, uh, the Samoan SWAT team was a thing and Paul E. Dangerously was their manager. So this is a, a little bit of a cool set for me with the Samoan SWAT team and Paul E. being in the same series because it just reminds me back to my first times ever seeing the NWA. That great tag team division at the time really stole my heart and never let go like a young Rio. But I remember the Samoan SWAT team and all the tag matches, I believe. Uh, when I first saw them, they were wrestling the Road Warriors, another Another all-time favorite of mine. So very, very cool to get this throwback edition of Paul E. when he was a manager. Just very, very cool. And I love something like this. Uh, taking that business step back, though, I don't know if Paul E. is going to set the world on fire. We do know that a lot of the manager figures, suited figures, don't really uh, move the needle. Obviously, the first couple of rounds of the figures will sell out pretty quick. But I wouldn't be shocked to see him on clearance down the line, like we've seen with a lot of the Legends figures. But it's still very cool. I'm very happy to get this one. And this one could be great for customizers as well down the line. But we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's see what old Polly Dangerously is up to here. Got the old True Effects. Got a little glamour shot. WWE logo. Polly Dangerously. There he is in the pack. He does have his ECW hat. So in a lot of ways... We're looking at a two-in-one figure. It might be a little bit of a stretch, uh, but a little bit of a two-in-one figure here. Elite logo, Legend Series 18. On the side, there's Paul E. Look at that. He's calling his dad. His dad's a lawyer. Uh, we remember Paul E. When they called him a yuppie back then. I think that was kind of a... I don't know if it was a derogatory term. I guess it was a derogatory term, but they always uh, kind of talked about that. Of course, his feuds with Jim Cornette back in the day as well. He had his version of the Midnight Express, and James E. had his version. Uh, a lot of golden times of wrestling with managers and tag teams, things like that. Same thing with Paul E. back here on this side. And then on the back, we got the blur. We got the tail of the tape. Just a blurb, really. We got the big cross cell. We got Paul Lee. Who do we got in the cross cell? Of course, we got Fatu and Samu. We got the Head Shrinkers and Chase Edition Samoan SWAT team. I really love that, as I said. Paul E. Dangerously. And then the Hulkster, Hulk Hogan brother. He's on there as well. It says, Polly Dangerously, in the early 1990s, WCW saw a manager of a new faction, the Dangerous Alliance. And his name, Polly Dangerously. Never seen without his trademark cellular phone, Polly advised champions like Ravishing Rick Rude and Stunning Steve Austin. Soon he left for more extreme pastures and changed the landscape forever as the head of ECW. And man, he did do that for me for sure in my high school days. Absolutely loved ECW. Legends right there. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic prison for Paul E. Looking very cool. I really like what I'm seeing here. I understand how this might not be for everyone, but if boy, if you were a fan, especially of the Dangerous Alliance days, and that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start building out a Dangerous Alliance shelf because uh, one of the greatest factions in wrestling history, I would dare I say probably the most underrated faction in history. Of course, you had Bobby Eaton, uh, Medusa, uh, Larry Zbysko, Arn Anderson, Rick Rude, Paul Lee, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Before he was Stone Cold, he was just stunning. Uh, we had him as well. Just a really, really good team. I absolutely loved those back in the day. A little rubber band here. I was wondering how that phone was kept in place. But I absolutely loved Paul Lee back then. Absolutely loved it all. Very cool. Can I get him out of the package? That's the million dollar question. Oh my gosh, the phone phone stayed with the package. See you later. This old twist tie off of the cell phone, maybe? Maybe? There we go. 
We're getting there. Bear with me. Bear with me. All right, we got Polly out of the package, and we'll get to it. Oh, the cell phone breaks apart. Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh, I didn't know that was the case. We'll get to that here in a second, but let's start with the hands first. Now, polly has got a big extra gripping hand for that cell phone, and it does have a pointer finger. We also get a gripping hand and a pointer finger, so you can mix and match if you want to choose the other sides. And then, like any good manager, he's got two fists of fury. Polly ready to throw down if he really has to. Probably not going to, but he does have two fists of fury. Then we do get this cell phone, and I was not realizing, as this is a first time in the line accessory, this cell phone here, that it is actually a breakaway cell phone. And I think that is a really, really cool thing to do. I really like the idea of that, uh, because if you guys remember Paul Lee back in the day, he was not afraid to use this cell phone, kind of like Jim Cornette with his tennis racket. Paul Lee had the cell phone, would bash people over the head. And still to this day, whenever I see a cell phone like this, a relic of a forgotten age, I always think of Zach Morris from Saved by the Bell, and I think of Paul Lee Dangerously. They were the two persons that really brought cell phones into a little kid's brain. Uh, maybe you guys were the same way as me. But I absolutely love this accessory here. Very cool to get a first time in the line. And it's so fitting. You can't have this era of Paul E. without this. Just, I love that a whole lot. Really cool to see there. Then we do get a hat. And this is what kind of makes this as a two-in-one Paul E. in a lot of ways. You get Paul E. dangerously straight up manager WCW. But then you put that hat on him. You put it backwards. You put it forwards. You get early edition Paul Heyman from his time in ECW. Uh, you go back to the later years or the end of ECW. You know, he usually had that big jacket on and a hat. And he gained some weight. Uh, looking a little bit more dishe disheveled. Uh, but early Paul E. Dangerously when it was uh, Eastern Championship Wrestling into the infancy of ECW. Him managing 911, Sabu, things like that. Uh, just being a manager around there. This is really what you think of. It was basically... WCW Paulie hyped up, but then he would have an ECW hat or a baseball cap, whatever you might have there. So almost makes me, well, no, almost about it. I'm going to be buying two of these figures. I'm going to put one on my ECW shelf. I'm going to put one with my Dangerous Alliance, but I'm going to play a little of that long game and I'm going to wait for a sale or a clearance on this other Paulie uh, before I pick up my second version. But this one is good enough for me for right now. But all day long, this is Paulie Dangerously. I mean, it reminds you back in the day, a suit like this with a crazy kind of 80s tie, late 80s, early 90s tie going there. Just what you would imagine Paul E. to wear in WCW back in the day. Just very, very cool. Looking at the head sculpt here, once again, it's Paul Heyman. It's Paul Heyman quite a few years ago. A lot more hair on Paul Heyman back in the day. Got the fabulous mullet going there, looking really good. Uh, just a just a, definitely a cool Paul Heyman. And we've actually got some Paul Heymans recently, and we'll compare those later on in this video. But really just brings you back. A lot of fans in the current climate of watching wrestling, man, they don't know Paul E. from WCW. And dare I say, maybe they don't even know him from ECW. They know him from Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. And that just really kind of plays with your mind a little bit, that there's a whole generation and then some. That's the only way they know him. But... That's what it is. Time marches on and time stops for no one, as we say. But let's walk through the articulation on this one really quick. His arms do go all the way around. Bicep cut, and here we go. Double jointed, pinless elbows playing the hits here. Uh, hands removable, hands back forth, side to side. Head side to side, a little bit limited by that mullet. Head easily removable. Uh-oh, head's not easily removable. It's not popping off like a lot of them. So uh, take that for what you want, but you'd have to heat it up if you want to pull that head off. Uh, of course, no real ab crunch in there. He's got the suited body. You've got the waist articulation. Do you got the big old legs. Got the splits going on here. Uh, very build-a-figure style uh, legs on this guy right here as well. So we got to no take note of that, kind of the new suited body action. You do get a thigh cut. Double jointed knees, not pinless. No ankle cut, nothing like that. Or I should say no uh, boot cut on this guy. But he has got ankles back and forth, side to side. He's got kind of the bell-bottom jeans a little bit. Kind of feels that way at the bottom. Uh, but decent. I mean, you don't need him to be Spider-Man. You don't need him to be Rey Mysterio. He is a manager. He's just here to talk and stuff. Would have really liked a microphone as an accessory with him as well. Maybe get rid of a set of hands. I mean, as much as I love fists, I don't know if I really needed them with my Paul E. So a microphone might have went really well. Microphone, cell phone could have had a little bit of both. Uh, I don't know. I guess it depends what you were looking for, what you want. How well does this cell phone fit in his hand? Uh-oh. Hopefully it fits fairly good. I don't want it to slide. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to play with it, but it seems to slide right out of his hand. His hands are too big for the cell phone. That would be a real shame if he cannot hold the cell phone. Uh, and it kind of feels like it's going that way. Oh, uh, what do you know? This second hand, that's strange. So it's like too big of a hand over here, but this one 
fits perfectly there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it around. He's going to the cell phone in the left hand, put the pointer finger in the right hand. But very strange that this hand is so big of a grip. They had it rubber banded in there so it wouldn't fall, obviously. But that is a little bit strange. But man, oh man, it is very cool at the end of the day to get a Pauly, a classic throwback Pauly to his WCW time. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? What do you know? Of course he does. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Man, oh man, I love it. I love it. This is in my wheelhouse. This is what I really do like. I understand it not being for everybody, but very cool if you're an ECW fan or an old school WCW fan. And I'm talking old school WCW fan. Of course, we've had a few other Paulies over the last few years. Here's a basic Pauly Dangerously. Here's the recent one from the Roman Reigns Brock Lesnar 3-pack. Uh, Amazon exclusive uh, over the holidays, I think, is when that came out. And then we got the old school build a figure Polly Dangerously from, I believe, what was that? Uh, Toys R Us, I think it was back in the day. So we do have that. So we've got a few different Polly Dangerously's to kind of really work throughout a shelf for you. Put them in different spots. I put the basic one with Brock. I put the new one uh, with Roman. Uh, this one's going to go with WCW and ECW. This one I think I have with Brock as well, the early edition of Brock. So there's definitely different spots you can have him on, different shelves in your collection. And now that Polly is signed, I would, I would bet you anything we'll get an ECW poly dangerously with the big jacket all that kind of stuff we'd have to think that'll come in the future for us I think there's too much money on the table for that one uh, but then the first thing I thought of with this Paul E was the Dangerous Alliance, of course. Uh, it would be great to put him with the Samoan SWAT team as well. I'm a little bit torn here, but of course, stunning Steve Austin, a big part of that Dangerous Alliance back there with Rick Rude. I always kind of thought those two were the two kind of leaders, at least as wrestling goes. Uh, but you can put him with the Dangerous Alliance, the Samoan SWAT team. At the end of the day, Paul E. Dangerously, Paul Heyman, his figures are very versatile. You can put them wherever you really want to. Choose your own Paul Heyman adventure. How about we leave it at that? But very cool, very exciting. Excited to get this one. Like I said, not for everybody, but definitely for me at the end of the day. But let's say you guys out there in YouTube land, you picking up Paul E. Dangerously? Is this before your time? Ahead of your time? Never your time? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you've also made it this far. You might as well like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you over on the old Patreon channel. You're truly your best way to support the channel and all the content. You can also hit up ProWrestlingTees.com, pick up a t-shirt, and then don't forget about Sir Paul 64 is where you're going to find me on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Paulie Dangerously, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.